and we might have some picture of them in our head, but after that is complete blur. We really don't know what has changed, what has happened, etc. So Aluna is a way to reconnect all of that and build that network. But I think beyond that network of getting in contact with friends, meeting others, getting to know each other, coming back to college, trying to find out what's happening here, I think our responsibility of alumni goes beyond it. I think Abhijit put it really well, it's about giving back to the community, but when I come back, not only to my school, but to this college more often, I really believe that instead of unlearning, I'm also relearning new things, right? Like today, the industry um, exhibitions were well, eye-opener for me, right? I didn't know many things. I came here, I learned new things, right? Um, that learning is important. And I think uh, we also have learned from experiences in our life. And giving back our learning back to the community and to this college also is important. So it's a process. We learn something, we give back something, right? And we give back in learning, we give back in time, we give back in our passion, we give back in our ideas. And I think as alumni, we have both dual responsibilities. A, A, we want to connect with everybody. We want to know who our alumni are, where they have gone, what they're doing. But I think for that, we have a lot of channels today. We're not dependent on alumni, right? We have Facebook, we have WhatsApp. You just have to search for people, you can find them, right? Uh, we are socially connected. But are we truly connected? I think that's the question that alumni is going to ask. We are socially connected. Yes, I'm your friend on WhatsApp. And I'm, I'm uh, I'm following MBJ on WhatsApp and LinkedIn, but am I truly connected? I think that's the question we need to ask. And true connection means coming back, yeah, we learn, we give back in learning, we give back in time, we give back in commitment, and we become a lot more socially responsible, right? They say, because I think our community can only grow, not only college, but I think everywhere where we are, I firmly believe like we can only grow if we can give back to the community. Be it our home, be it where we grew up, be it our school, be it our college, be it our friends. If we don't give back and we don't show that social responsibility, I don't think we can ever grow. And I think as seniors here, we're sitting, I think we can make a start. And I firmly believe that others who come behind us will follow as well. And I believe that in the next 12 18 months, we can make a big difference to this alumni group and to this college that like, we make everybody so jealous in this world Right? that they come back and want to be with us. I think that's the only way we can grow, right? If we see like, if five of our art classmates and, and you know, our people see us on Facebook and WhatsApp doing a lot of good things, and they will be jealous and they want to come back and contribute as well. So I think let's start to make other people jealous. So that they come back and start giving, and hopefully we also give back a lot more. So let's start to this day. I do, like Abhijit say, I did my commitment. I think I made my commitment last year when I came here. I said I want to give back, and, but I made a lot more commitment from now on. So please do make a comment from today. And the number that you Abhijit share, do post your pictures in it and share with 10 more people. So they get more jealous and they want to come back. So let's start today and let's start big. And I think in 12 18 months we can really do what we have to do. So thank you very much for coming. Please was sought on 22nd July 2019 and the closing date was mentioned as 29th July 2019. We received 72 nominations for Distinguished Alumnus Award under Technology category and 55 nominations for Distinguished Alumnus Award under Entrepreneur category. Nominated profiles were scrutinized by the selection committee constituted for identifying best profiles under both the categories. It gives us immense pleasure and pride to inform you that the recipient of the Distinguished Alumni Award for the year 2019 under Entrepreneur category is Mr. Rajiv Nayar, CEO of Private Consulting Group.
few words with the audience. Good morning, friends. Good morning, sir. 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 And all of my fellow students. Also, thanks for being here. You know, the entrepreneurship of, you know, I started back and I was saying that entrepreneur is derived from the Sanskrit word for entrepreneur. And there are some arguments on the debate of stuff that it's good in it. But I take it as entrepreneur. Along with two more qualities required to become an entrepreneur. One is, uh, along with that, one is education and one is experience. I mean, there are exceptions, like people just pass, graduate from the government as uh, startup companies. But I mean, I take these three. Out of that, the education, the basis come from everything. Uh, so I thank all of you. I mean, first of all, I thank uh, Dr. Jairam sir, because uh, we, I, I have mean, for the past batch of 82. Uh, that's a time we only had two, just two buildings. That's uh, in October. 1982. So from there, we have gone. So I thank Dr. Jiran, the professors and the teachers who helped me out the group. Uh, now coming to the second point of it, I was so excited to see the projects which we had here despite my students. Two reasons, okay, most of you are my uh, daughter's age. You know, she was here in third year. We are the third year of your students. So one, one thing I mean, it's a good project. One thing I could help you out, or if you hope to help out, is going to market, locating the seed funding. Some of us could do it from ourselves, or we could connect new people to how to go to the market. So these are the things which we could from do from alumni side. The second thing that the Tabiji was mentioning was uh, on the tools. With the hope that the knowledge that I share would be of some value. To a certain extent, I would kindly defer it, Mr. Chandaka, when he says that if you are a civil engineer or any engineer, you could still be in the IT industry. Well, we have a severe dread of good qualified electrical engineers and I'm seeing it over the last 25 years. And after the growth of the IT industry, that the only the deficiency of people is much more prominently visible because people are more interested in the blue collar jobs, having a badge hung around their neck, nine to five. Monday to Friday, relaxed life on a Saturday, Sunday. But believe me, the action that I see as an electrical engineer even today is tremendous. But I don't see good qualified engineers coming in to the field that I am in. What is come, people who come are the ones who could not get into the IT sector, filtered out, what, what is left is not up to the mark. My humble request is, I know the base packets in an IT industry is much more than what you would get in a brick and mortar industry. But the challenges that are there in the brick and mortar industry are equally good. There are a lot of opportunities to explore and grow. Just give it a thought that world is not just IT and IT alone. That's my humble uh, feeling that I get when I speak to budding engineers that most of them, no matter what stream they are, they would, their, their ultimate goal is to join an IT industry. 
the world does not does need IT engineers, but it also needs engineers in the brick and mortar industry. You need qualified, competent people over there. Give it a thought. Good luck to all of you. And before I end, a big thank you to the management of MPJC, the selection committee members who have recognized my services to the electrical field. And I take it as a personal honor that I've been selected for the recognition award. Thank you very much. Interacting with you for a slot to invite our students, you will not be seen. Moving forward, we have the recipient of Young Entrepreneur Award. I am very happy to announce the name as Mr. Balakishu Kumar. He is the alumnus of the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Requesting you to come to the dance. I request our president of the association, Mr. K. To hand over the certificate and